Vanessa Kilburn. I am a co-director and program manager of the Toucan Ridge Ecology and Education Society, TREES. Um, we've established this organization to help conserve Belize's cultural and natural heritage. Oh, let me start again. <laughs> University courses are 15 to 20 students. We have a combination of a company that provides logistical travel support and educational planning, and of course, the facilities that we offer here at Trees. We have on-site biologists that can offer teaching assistance to professors, uh, so we can assist you in your teaching if you need that assistance. We also have all the field equipment that you can set up to use for sampling the animals that you're trying to study. And of course, we have beautiful, wonderful facilities to house you and also to feed you awesome food. <laughs> oh, food's been great. Yes, I'm putting on weight. All right, so uh, Dr. Graham Forbes. I'm a professor of mainly wildlife studies at the University of New Brunswick. Belize is a great place for a field course. It has a variety of wildlife, of habitat types. It has ocean, jungle, a safe environment to travel in. It's so green and it's hot. It's just great. So hot. Yeah, very hot. Trees is a great spot because it has a trail network. So from a teaching point of view, we don't have to worry so much about students getting lost. They're paired up. The course theme is experience, hands-on immersion. So we really don't want them spending the whole time with us listening to the professors. We want them out there exploring. We set up uh, live traps for small mammals. And we caught a Mexican mouse possum. It was Amazing little frisky creature. It was very difficult to keep in the bag. It just wanted to bite everyone. Except in one part of Canada, there aren't any marsupial species, so a possum is a fairly unique thing. He was adorable. Being able to get up close to them is it's awesome. You get to look at their tail length and understand how they use that to help themselves climb and move around. Uh, there's a mist nets run at night for bats. Oh, <laughs> sweet mother of pearl. I know, oh, you he's alone. There's mist nets run for birds as part of the banding station here. For a lot of these students, they've never had a chance to really hold wildlife. They read about it in books, and this is so much better because they can realize how light a bird is, the shape of the beak and the, the shape of the wings. And so they're able to see things they wouldn't normally pick up on. The birds are here are crazy. We saw one today with a big thing on its head. It was amazing. It's cool seeing the birds that you see back home that have migrated all this way. They're just so little, they fit right in your hand. I'm going to take my picture because I look like an idiot. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. The other night we went for a herp walk with Vanessa. At nighttime, Belize is such a different place. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm kind of feisty. Suddenly we had to walk through this river. <laughs> so it's something you don't do every day is walk up a creek in a jungle. We got to walk through a river at night in Belize where there are snakes hanging from the trees. <laughs> and we didn't die. So. Trees has a lot of things to look at, but there's also some nearby sites that vary. So there's a uh, river, the City River. We were snorkeling in there. It's different fish species. Snorkeling in Belize is just awesome. I mean, it's really, really hot here. And just being able to jump in the water in there and get refreshed. We've lined up a group that takes us up river with the spot beams. And you never know what you see. This year we saw a couple of kinkajous and uh, juvenile Morelets crocodiles, just a small ones. The other aspect of that trip is a bioluminescent lake. Seeing the bioluminescent lake was something that I've always dreamed about. I learned about it in class. Uh, the students jumped in and swam around and got to see the water light up all around them, so it's pretty magical. So we were all terrified to jump in the water because it was cold and it was nighttime. We couldn't see anything. It feels so cold! <laughs> yeah, lots of giggling. <laughs> like you jump in and they they light up and it's like out of a movie. It was spectacular. It was blowing all around us. Mm -hmm. It was the coolest experience of my life. It was so cool. Mm -hmm. We went to the Five Blues Lakes. There were so many really cool trees. There were some mm -hmm. with spikes like that long and some that were poisonous. We had tracks of ocelot, mountain lion, Baird's taper, uh, which is really quite special. Well, we are fortunate to come across a very small, but um, poisonous snake, fair to lance, but it shows how well camouflaged they are. And there were vines hanging everywhere, it looked like the Jungle Book. Yeah, it did look like the Jungle Book. <laughs> Duente Caves, uh, it's a karst topography, so there's sinkholes and there's uh, little tunnels you can crawl through. Yeah. You get to crawl through them and see bats and <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> there's also St. Herman's, which is this massive cave that apparently goes on for miles and miles. 
into the into the earth, which is really interesting. But for biologists and ecologists to come down to a place like this, they get a real feel for diversity and adaptation and uh, the sort of coevolution of different things. Trees is a great place to get introduced to Belize. It's a wonderful location. Abominations are so cool. They're little cabins yeah. in the jungle. <laughs> you wake up to the mountain behind you, birds singing, insects making noise. It, it's awesome.